Welcome back to A320 Knowledge, your trusted source for Airbus expertise. Today, we're diving into the engine system display page. To display any SD page onto the ECAM, we must use the ECAM control panel. And to display the engine SD page, we can go ahead and press the engine push button. Let's go through each part of the SD page one by one. The first value at the top of the page is the fuel used indication. It is normally displayed in green. For a given engine, the Display Management Computer, DMC, computes the fuel used from the engine startup to its shutdown. The fuel used indication is given in kilograms and can vary from 0 to 45,360 in 10 kilogram steps. The fuel used indication remains displayed even after the power down of the electronic control unit, ECU. If two amber dashes appear over all five digits, then the fuel consumed value is inaccurate. This occurs when the fuel flow is not valid in flight for more than one minute. The indication is replaced by two amber crosses if the power supply of the DMC is interrupted for more than five seconds in flight when the information is not available from the ECU bus. An amber clog indication appears under the digital fuel used indication when an excessive pressure drop across the fuel filter is detected for at least five seconds. The next indication is the oil quantity level. The oil quantity needle is always green. However, the value and needle pulse when the oil quantity is below the oil advisory limit. The oil quantity in the tank can decrease at high thrust settings due to the effect of oil gulping. In this case, the indicated oil quantity will increase after the thrust is reduced. Different engine manufacturers and airline operators have their own oil quantity limit specifications, so consult your operation manuals for the appropriate figures. The analog display ranges from zero to maximum oil quantity value. Amber crosses replace the oil quantity parameter along with the removal of the needle when the oil quantity sensor parameters become invalid. As long as the oil temperature and pressure of the affected engine remains within limits, the normal operation of the engine should not be affected. The oil pressure indication is green when the oil pressure is within normal operating range. The analog display varies from 0 to 100 PSI. The digital display varies from 0 to 998 PSI in 2 PSI steps. It begins to pulse when the oil pressure trends into the low or high pressure range. For a low oil pressure, the engine's N2 must be above 75% for a pulsing indication to appear. The numerical indication becomes red in both very low and high oil pressure ranges. However, the red arc represents the very low oil pressure limit only. A red low oil pressure indication can appear on the engine SD page without triggering the engine oil low pressure ECAM warning. In this case, it is recommended to continue normal engine operation, as it is likely that the oil pressure transducer is faulty. If a high oil pressure is not accompanied by other abnormal indications, then it is recommended to operate the engine normally for the remainder of the flight. In this case, record the high oil pressure readings alongside the corresponding N2 readings for maintenance action. In case of invalidity of the oil pressure parameter, the digits are replaced by two amber crosses. The needle and the red arc in this case are removed. An amber clog indication appears under the oil pressure indication when the pressure drop across the main supply oil filter is excessive. The engine oil temperature indication is green and stable when the oil temperature is within normal operating range. The Display Management Computer, DMC, receives the engine oil temperature data from the Electronic Engine Control, EEC. When the parameter is received as not valid by the DMC, the value is replaced by two amber crosses. The indication begins to pulse green when the oil temperature reaches the high oil temperature advisory range. The indication becomes amber if the temperature is higher than the high oil temperature limit or above the advisory limit for more than 15 minutes. As with the other engine oil indications, the figures are manufacturer dependent. In general, the minimum oil temperature to start the engines is minus 40 degrees C. The minimum oil temperature for takeoff is minus 10 degrees C. 
for CEO engines and plus 19 degrees C for NEO engines. The indication will become amber when the temperature is below these values for over two seconds. This is to tell the crew that the oil temperature is not sufficient to increase the speed of the engine for the takeoff. The maximum continuous engine oil temperature is 140 degrees C. However, this value may increase to 155 degrees C for no longer than 15 minutes. An oil temperature increase during normal steady state operations indicates a system malfunction and should be closely monitored for other symptoms of engine malfunction. If the oil temperature increase is observed following a thrust reduction, an increase in thrust might actually be able to reduce the oil temperature. The temperature increase could be related to the IDG oil cooling system. To reduce the oil temperature at low speeds, an increase in engine speed is recommended. This increases the fuel flow and thereby cool the IDG oil. When at high speeds, it is recommended to reduce the loads on the generator or even turn off the generator in order to reduce the oil temperature. If the temperature continues to rise, a mechanical disconnection of the IDG might be required. The N1 and N2 vibration values indicate the vibration levels of the low pressure and high pressure rotors respectively. They are green when within their normal operating range. The display varies from 0 to 12.8 in increments of 0 0.1. The indications pulse green if the vibrations exceed a specified threshold, which is determined by the Electronic Engine Control, EEC. When the engine vibration reaches 6 units for N1 and 4.3 units for N2, the indications become amber and the engine high vibration ECAM is displayed. If the indication is not available, the corresponding indication is replaced by two amber crosses. If the vibration is suspected to be due to icing, then the auto thrust is disconnected and the thrust is reduced to idle one at a time. If the flight conditions permit it, then back to above 70%. In addition to this, if the engine anti-ice is off, then it is recommended to switch it on once the fan speed is at idle to help shed any ice. If icing is not suspected, then the procedure is to simply reduce the engine thrust of the affected engine. On NEO aircraft, there are additional ice protection indications. The message, Ice Prot, is displayed in white under the vibration levels when either the booster anti-ice or the variable bleed valve is activated on the engines. Core is displayed in green when the variable bleed valve is activated and the booster anti-ice is not activated. Boost is displayed in green when the booster anti-ice is activated. The igniter indication is above the starter shutoff valve and highlights in green which igniters are active. This can be either A or B on their own or both A and B together. The display is blank when no igniter is selected. During the first automatic start on the ground, only one igniter is supplied and the igniters alternate for each start. If the start fails, then both igniters are energized during the second start attempt. For in-flight starts, both igniters are energized. Continuous ignition is commanded when 1. Ignition start is selected on the mode selector with engines running. 2. When engine anti-ice is selected on. 3. Following a detected engine flameout in-flight. 4. After an engine interface unit, EIU failure. Position indication of the starter shutoff valve is inline green when the valve is fully open. It is cross-line green when the valve is fully closed. It is replaced by two amber crosses when the parameter related to the position of a given starter shutoff valve is not valid at the DMC input. The bleed pressure below the start shutoff valve is taken upstream of the pre-cooler. The digital display varies from 0 to 998 PSI in 2 PSI steps. This becomes amber below 21 PSI with actual N2 greater than or equal to 10% and if the engine starter air valve is open or when there is an overpressure. The bleed pressure value is transmitted by the Flight Warning Computer FWC or the System Data Acquisition Concentrator SDAC if the FWC is not available. It is now replaced by two amber crosses. Thanks for tuning in to this bite-sized tutorial on the Engine System Display page. Thank you.